celebration of season six of Street Outlaws coming back, I'm gonna be reviewing some races you guys never seen before. I thought of this idea a while ago, I was gonna do it before season six, but we already started it, so I'm just gonna show you some races that never really been seen. But if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen them, so let's get into it. So first up, I got a couple races that um, I barely started racing right there. It's my first meet. In this clip, I'm racing a Corvette. A green Corvette, me with my Swinton RS. You can see I'm a rookie because I'm raving it up like super high and I still took off on him because these guys sucked at racing. Then after he pulled around and he wanted to go again, so I raced him again, beat him again after he honked it. You know, that's my Sultan RS, my OG one. I still have that one today and you know, it's still going strong. Next up, I went up against a Sabre Turbo. I don't know if he was ready or not, but I took off on him. As soon as I seen the flag, I took off. Never seen him, never seen him after that, and it was over after that. I just gapped him. Some out of town races. This was me and a leader. Um, I don't know why I didn't clip the episode, but that's we raced them. I think we lost that series or not, but I don't know. Um, but I didn't lose. You can see right there, you know, with the crow doing work. Never lost an out of town race to crow yet, and. Not planning on it. Next up again, this it's a different guy. Same setup though, he has a saber, a white one. He challenged the crow, but little does he know, the crow eat him up easily. So I ate that car up, easy money. I'll call out, this is Wheels event, the wheelie. I beat a Nova on a wheelie. This was Khan, this was that, or this was Deer or Khan? One of them. But I remember I had so much beef with him as when I beat him with the saber, the small tire saber, it was, I was going off. <laughs> I made it to the top three of all I call out, but the crow couldn't last up there. Small tire crow. It did good, I was proud of it, and those are memories that I'm always gonna have with the crow beating a Nova like that. Me versus MGR, this was me and I think Coyote it was or something, I don't know. I wanted to race my GT, the classic, the crow, crow mod. This was when it was white, this season's gonna be black. I'm bringing it back. Um, we used no double cush because he wanted to. He would've caught up to me if he did, but you can see I took off on him on the light. I was like maybe already a car on him before he left the line. So if you're gonna sleep on me, it's game over for you. We got this guy who came to my OG shop, the firehouse. He came to call me out, me and the crow. We were there working on it. You know, he wanted to run and I gave him a piece of the crow, gave him a good gap, you know, took him back to the city and get the saber out of here because no saber has ever been mine and I don't plan on losing it anytime soon. This clip was on list racing. I think it was season five or something. Or no, four, I think. Me and me and Snorlax. This was when the crow was actually fast. You can see I beat him on that one. Um, GTA has derped the saber so much that it's so annoying that I can't even erase it anymore. Sadly, the crow's been too slow for the list. The list has gotten way faster and I gotta upgrade or get left behind. My boys Lars called me out right here on this one. Called out the crow. You already know what the crow's gonna do. It's gonna eat with any type of saber. If any type of saber wants to call the crow out, we're here. We're not gonna lose. That thing is undefeated versus sabers and come prove me wrong whoever wants to. This clip was so good. This is when Chazzy and I hate each other. He wanted a whole car. He wanted arm drop flagging. I gave him that. I still went around him, gave him the gap, and he didn't even keep it in his lane. You know, that was OG OG. That was a while ago. And it's, you know, it is what it is, guys. I'm sorry, Chassie. Oh, this is the last race of the episode. Um, this was season one. This is when the crow mod was so quick that you had to burn out your tires to give everyone a chance. Now they derp the GT2, so the, the Yos mice keep up with it and everything keeps up with it. Back then I had to burn out the tires and I pulled around gray for number one. That was epic. If we were racing a regular street race, he would have beat me for sure, but that's OG when we used to race the Sandy Shores Airport and I pulled around them. Barely, me and Gray have been having good races since day one, so it's always good to see some OG clips of it. Hope you guys enjoyed next Tuesday's list racing. Whoever's interested, hit me up. Um, we might have a full list going. Uh, me and the Crow Mod are going. We painted it black, no more white. I just want to murder everyone. 
I am number six at the moment. Um, so there's a top five. There's no there's no bottom five. So we're gonna do a round robin for bottom five when everyone goes. Hopefully, I get number six because if I do, I can go and I will see. I'm not sure if we're gonna do five callouts or we're gonna do a time limit yet. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see time limit or or callouts because callouts are is easier to edit, less racing, but um you get more racing with the time limit so it's either a 10 or 15 minute time limit or five or four call ups so let me know in the comments below what you guys think hope you guys enjoyed me and the crow mod hopefully gonna be one soon i plan on being number one episode four or five i'll be up there if not we're gonna need to make changes because i plan on being one this season i haven't won i haven't been one once out of five seasons, it's been Noni twice, Nova twice, and Gray once. I was so close that season, but Gray had to bring that stupid monster truck. You know what I'm talking about. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one.